Well, we are starting out with a really cold Tuesday morning as temperatures tumble to near zero by 6 a.m., three maybe by 7 a.m. If we're lucky, we'll get to seven by 11 a.m. with occasional light snow expected. Today, the high temperature was 55 degrees, which is well above the average of 47, shy of the record of 73 set back in 2017. A year later is minus seven, and we're closer to that right now with the current temperature down to six degrees out at DIA. Nine at our studios. The barometer is the only thing going up. The winds are from the north northeast at 18. The wind chill is at 13 below zero. This is the snowfall over the next three days. This storm is not going to be a fast dumper by any means. It's just a little bit of fits and starts over the next few days. But with the sub zero and sub freezing temperatures, we'll see it pile up to about two to four for lower elevations and a foot or more up in the mountains. So here's the situation around the nation. Severe thunderstorms tonight in Oklahoma and Arkansas. Tornado watch is in effect there. Arctic front coming down across Colorado, moisture coming in from the Pacific, and so by morning it's heavy snow over the central and southwest mountains, lighter snow to the north and east, and very cold on the plains with lows dropping down below zero. Northeast Colorado, Sterling at minus seven. We'll be about two above in Denver. But look at the readings to the south and west in the 20s by morning, and even along the front range, much milder air up into the mountains with teens to near 20, while it's zero or colder on the northeast plains. We start very cold, snowy and slick in the mountains and foothills. That holds through midday with just flurries at lower elevations. By late in the day tomorrow, we'll get a little bit of an increase in snow over the metro, and that's going to slick the roads up a bit more. The highs go nowhere, just single digits and low teens on the plains. Teens and 20s expected in the mountains. To the south and west, though, look at the numbers over southwestern Colorado. 42 at Cortez, 36 at Durango, 38 degrees at Grand Junction, while it's just in the single digits and teens over northeast Colorado. So bitter cold on the plains, heavy snow in the mountains. The storm system is going to drop to the south and bring the heaviest snows to the mountains and southern sections of the state into Wednesday. We'll get some light snow on the plains. By Thursday, that same system turns into a nasty ice storm in the upper Midwest while we just stay cold. By Friday, the cold hangs in there, but mild air is not too far away, and that finally gets here as we head into the weekend. Here's your Super 7 Day Forecast. Action days for cold mostly Tuesday and Wednesday with highs only around 10 for Tuesday, 5 below Wednesday. By the way, with all this cold, you want to really make sure that you're taking care of the folks out there in terms of keeping your pets warm and dry and check on the elderly in your neighborhood. After we get through the coldest of this, we start to thaw out a bit heading into the weekend. By noon on Saturday, getting back above 32 we will get to 38 Saturday afternoon, 47 Sunday, and finally back to 55 again next Monday. Bundle up, going to be a cold one, and drive carefully. Stay tuned. Sports is coming up next.